Yo. Yo. I watch all of your Facebook stuff, your YouTube videos, Instagram stuff. You're always talking about advertising on Facebook and creating the right audience and retargeting with pixels and all that stuff, which is super rad, except for how do we yeah. do it? Yeah, yeah. Listen, I get the same thing all the time, and I'm really glad you asked that. So here's what we're going to do. I've decided to do a whole set of tutorials on how to do exactly the things I'm always telling you guys to do. Just like I said, guys. Sorry. got yeah, M&Ms in my mouth. I get a bunch of questions as I've talked in all my vlogs about the things that you should be doing and the retargeting and the audience is the most important thing. The more, the most common thing that I get when I run into people or the messages or emails that I get is how do they do it? And I kind of take for granted like having that knowledge and knowing how to do it that it's just like, oh, you just do it, uh, which clearly isn't the case. There's a lot, there's a lot that goes into it and there's some technicalities and things like that that you guys probably need to know about. So what I've decided to do is do um, a whole series of tutorials. I don't know how many it's going to be and I think I'll just keep it ongoing. We'll just keep doing tutorials as there's, as I feel there's something that you guys should learn how to do and uh, you know we'll continue to do tutorials about it. I don't want to jab too much. I'm sure that everybody's watching this anxiously waiting to get into starting something of their own um, which I'm super excited to kind of help you through that process. So get those computers out um, pause this video along the way if you need to. Uh, these first couple probably won't be terribly technical. I am literally going to start from the very beginning of like how to start your Facebook page. Um, even some of the things uh, that I talk about in this video might be good for you to know uh, if you've already started your page. So uh, stick around for a few more minutes. It's not going to be a long video. This is really just kind of an introductory to, hey, I'm going to start doing tutorials uh, on the things that I talk about and things that I think are super beneficial to you guys as a, as a broad audience. With that said, make sure you like the Facebook page if you're watching this. You know what? This isn't even on Facebook. I'm going to put these on YouTube only. So. Make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the notification bell so that you get notified of the next videos and tutorials and things like that. Um, if there's a topic that you definitely want to know about, hit me up on uh, Facebook, send me a message. It's B Brody on Facebook. I'll make sure there's a link in the description. But send me a, a Facebook message. If there's something specific that you want to know about, something you've heard me talk about in the vlogs that you're like, you keep saying this, how do we do that? Um, I'm sure it's, there's things that I like, I'll just have to get to. I want to try to do this in an order of events um, so that we don't get too far ahead of ourselves. I kind of want to do it in a specific order. So I, I've got some things laid out already. So be patient. We'll put these out, um, you know, probably one or two a week or so. So make sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next ones. But like I was saying, let's hop on the computer and uh, get into how to get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open your personal Facebook page, you're going to go up here to the top right and click this drop down menu. Now when you get to here, you're going to go to create page. And let me remind you guys too that everything I'm going to talk about uh, through all this stuff is really going to pertain mostly to e-commerce, you know, online stores and things of that nature. There is a lot of stuff that I, I will cover and talk about throughout all this and just everything in general that is just general business information, knowledge, marketing information that also pertains to local businesses. So you're not excluded from this. A lot of this will pertain to you as well, but um, a lot of the real tactical things will be more uh, e-commerce oriented. So anyways, keep that in mind. <clears throat> um, okay, so back in the computer here, you're gonna click on local business or your company or organization or a brand or product brand or product is what I would suggest if you are like e-commerce or something like that. So you're going to click on that and it's going to ask you for the category of a brand or product that you are. You'll select what suits you best. Maybe you're just a particular brand or you sell baby goods, uh, home decor, pet supplies, whatever it is. You choose what's best for you and then you're going to come in here and you're going to type in the name of that. Uh, your brand, uh, whatever the name of your store is going to be. Uh, in my case, you know, we'll use tactical baby gear as a uh, kind of example and case study throughout these tutorials so I can show you some stuff. Uh, so you'll hit get started and what that's going to do is create a Facebook page for you that will basically look like this. And you're going to want to go in and you're going to want to set your profile picture 
and your cover photo. Um, there's an about us thing. You'll want to, you know, update all that stuff. Guys, you know, Facebook and all this digital marketing and online advertising is all data driven. So the more information you can put into the system, the better it is for you guys. Um, so go through all that stuff, put in your phone numbers, put in addresses if you have a, an address for your business, put in um, email addresses, website stuff, like everything that you can put in there is gonna benefit you in one way, shape, or form. So the more information you can give Facebook about your business, the better. Um, so go through all that stuff, spend a couple hours doing it if you need to, create images that are specific for your cover photos and profile photos so that it best suits that particular dimension and space uh, for whatever your brand or product is. And then you can really, from there, start posting about your brand on Facebook uh, as a page. The reason I suggest doing this as a page versus your personal page is because you can run ads. We'll go through in the next video on setting up the ad account and like starting your first ad. Um, but then you get the options of retargeting people and uh, all that kind of stuff. So there's just far, far more advantages to having a page like this set up versus using your personal page and, and things of that nature. Now you do want to leverage your personal page with um, to, to help kind of jumpstart this page. Maybe you have friends that are interested in what you do. You'll see in here, um, you can invite your friends to like the page. So you'll see that right here under community. It'll say invite friends, you click that, and you can start selecting all your friends and invite them to like your page. And that'll you know hopefully start spreading the word, some awareness, make a post. You can share this page to your personal page. You'll have an option here at the top to hit share. Uh, and you'll be able to share this to your personal page. You can write something about it, say, hey, you know, come check out my, my business page. I'd love for you to like it, follow it, uh, see what we're up to, yada, 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 you know, and get some people liking the page um, that hopefully have interest in it. Um, and I've mentioned this in the past in vlogs, like if you have a makeup page and you're doing uh, makeup stuff for women, don't go inviting every guy in your friends list to the makeup page um, unless you're selling men's products. It just don't, don't look for a follower account or a, how many people like your page. You want the most relevant people to like your page, uh, the most likely people to buy from you versus people who are just gonna be there to be there and scrolling because again, the data is what you want. You don't want your numbers and data to be skewed to show a bunch of men liking your page um, about makeup stuff if they're not your buyers, if they're just there because you want more people there. Now, if you have men on your makeup page because they're actually buying, that's awesome and that's great and you want that. But don't don't uh, guilt a bunch of your, your friends, husbands to like your page or something like that uh, just to have a follower account get higher because uh, you want good, relevant data of people who are most likely to purchase from your brand. And that's kind of it, you know, really with start, you know, starting your Facebook page, that's really about it. <clears throat> um, like I said before, we'll talk more in the next, in the coming videos about, you know, starting the ad account, starting your first ad, and then we'll get into audiences and audience insights and audience overlaps and the pixel and retargeting and all that kind of stuff. Um, so uh, make sure you're subscribed so you know when the next videos are coming out. Uh, hit that thumbs up button if you liked this video. Share it with your friends if you think that they need to know some information. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.